at the end of this video, I'm going to show what I look like in leggings. I will see if I have legging legs. TikTok is a cesspool. I actually have the most janky setup right now. For those of you who are new, hi, I'm Lid, and welcome back or to Lid's Vids. I post every Wednesday and Saturdays. Since my last Saturday upload, I'm pretty sure I figured out how to work the screen recorder legging legs. What are they? Why are they such a big deal? I don't know. I looked it up on TikTok, and this is what happened. Interesting. Seems like TikTok is trying to shield us from something. We're gonna look up a YouTube video about it. Okay, let's see. Legging legs trend. Legging legs are TikTok's newest insecurity. Legging legs new TikTok trend. Let's see what this is about, y'all. Another trend on TikTok sparking conversation is known as legging legs. These videos appear to be ordinary, featuring girls showcasing how leggings look on their legs. Nevertheless, some users have identified an issue with this trend. In summary, legging legs is a colloquial term referring to long and slender legs, implying that individuals with a slim build, long legs, and a thigh gap are considered ideal for wearing leggings. The trend originated when Not Jassy created a video, and the audio from that video later went viral. That's how you look when you just woke it up? Yeah. Nothing in my life is fair. As a result, the audio from the video sparked a new trend with the emergence of the hashtag legging legs. Thousands of girls participated. Yeah, this is why I'm not really on TikTok, honestly. TikTok is a cesspool, and I'm a Gen Z and I'm saying that. It says a lot. So, so far it doesn't sound bad. So far this sounds really stupid, honestly. People get, that's another thing. TikTok is toxic. Everyone, like, this is like the, the most minor thing possible, and everyone's just mad about it. I wonder who's mad about it. Maybe it's people who don't feel good about what they look like in leggings. That sounds like a personal problem. That doesn't mean you have to hate on us skinny chicks because we look good. At the end of this video, I'm gonna show what I look like in leggings. I will see if I have legging legs. ...in this trend. However, a drawback has surfaced, with some users expressing concern that these videos seemingly normalizing a specific body structure may lead young individuals to believe that their own bodies are not ideal. Essentially, a girl observing the popularity of the legging legs trend with millions of views might look in the mirror, notice that her legs aren't as long, and consequently feel that something is amiss or that she isn't perfect. Guys, are we not better than this? <laughs> Who cares? I don't think this is a big deal. I think people like to make everything a big deal, and if you're on TikTok and you feed off TikTok, you're gonna be the kind of person who makes a big deal out of absolutely nothing. Let's keep watching though. Give my rise battery to feelings dies. of insecurity and the development of complexes. See, yeah. she just said it. She just said feelings of insecurity. Insecurity is a personal issue. Nobody has come up to these women and said, you don't have legging legs. These women have decided in their head that they don't have legging legs. That's a personal issue. Stop getting upset with these skinny chicks who look good in leggings and telling them it's their fault that you don't feel good in your leggings. I just saw that thick girl, she looked good in the leggings. The women are putting it on themselves. Legging legs, the most stupid thing I've ever heard in my life. Do you understand that because of your video telling some little girl that she doesn't have legging legs, she now feels that she can't fit into society? When did anyone say to a little girl that she doesn't have legging legs? Nobody's saying that. Women, are putting leggings on their bodies, they're filming a video, they're posting it on TikTok, and then other older women who don't have legging legs, in their opinion, are now upset about it. And they always bring in the little girls. They always say, well, what about that 13 year old? Wasn't there an age limit on TikTok now? And this must be 18 plus. So 13 year old shouldn't be on TikTok anyway. And it's not these older women's problem to protect these little girls who should have their parents watching out for them. Here, let's let's just solve this once and for all. And they're also talking about eating disorders. Like, oh my gosh, we're gonna get eating disorders. Okay, let's see. How many people? 
people die from. And I don't know how to spell this. Anorexia per year. Let's just see. Um, what's the death rate of anorexia? Um, anorexia nervosa has long had the distinction of having one of the highest mortality rates of any psychiatric disorder, with more than 5% of patients dying within four years of initial diagnosis. Okay, let's see this one. Statista. I don't know if this is any accurate stuff. I'm just, I'm going to be completely honest. Uh, only necessary, I guess. And he starts to do the... Okay, this is, this is, you can see for yourself. I'm putting it on the screen. That's this one, 2,680. We got 980 for this one. Okay, over 3,000. Okay, feeding. Hmm, feeding. That's, that sounds like you're doing the opposite of the skinny chicks. Let's see. Let's see this one. People, I'm gonna, people are gonna be mad about this, but let's just be honest. From obesity. Holy mackerel! Oh my gosh, look at that. Stats don't lie. Y'all, I think we're all getting very upset about the fact that skinny girls are skinny. And as a skinny chick, I'm offended. Now we're gonna see what my legs look like in leggings. Oh my gosh, are they gonna be legging legs? I have no idea. Let's stand up. Okay, this is my feet together. This is my feet apart. Feet together. My booty's not sticking out. I don't know how to prove it to you. And this is feet together. This is me pulling my hips in, me relaxing. <laughs> Shockingly, they look like my legs in a pair of leggings. If you're insecure about your body, then maybe you need to go to therapy. Stop hating on people just because of what their body looks like. Hating on someone because they're fat isn't nice. Hating on someone because they're skinny isn't nice. So let's recap. In all the videos that I've watched, in no video have I seen a skinny girl telling a child that they need to look like her in the video. Let's just start there. Obesity has reached epidemic proportions globally with at least 2.8 million people dying each year as a result of being overweight or obese. As a nation, as a globe, the entire world, this is World Health Organization, does not appear that very many people are in danger of being too skinny. Because you see ribs on somebody, or someone has like a bony elbow or bony knees, it's not your business to be saying, well you're, you know, saying that 13 year olds are, you know, gonna need to be skinny. No, we're not. We're existing, and we're having to wearing leggings. I think it's hilarious that this one chick making this one video on the cesspool that is TikTok has caused this whole thing to flip on its head. It's amazing how you can say one thing in a video and not say anything about being skinny or even looking good or looking bad. Like, it's insinuated that someone looks good, but she never said that you had to be skinny in the leggings to look good and to have legging legs. I just think it's funny that it's usually middle-aged women who are just get so upset about this and always bring in children. Like, don't speak for the children. It's a small trend, and within six months, it's, or less, it's not even gonna be a big deal anymore. Everyone just needs to chill out. I think I have legging legs. I think you have legging legs. I think this trend is stupid. And if you're that offended by someone wearing a pair of leggings, then you need to get off TikTok. If you don't think you look good in something, you don't have to wear it. But what you don't really need to do is get online and hate on somebody because you think they look good. Do you know what that is? That's jealousy. But hey, opinions are opinions. You're allowed to have your own opinion, so go off, honey. This is mine. I think it's stupid. That is my diagnosis. Thank you for coming. Goodbye. I'll see you next week. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like this video if you liked it and subscribe down below if you're not already. I post twice a week, so make sure you come back next week for my Wednesday and Saturday videos. I love you guys so much and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!